Hello and welcome back to Woodland Life. Here I am down in Woodland. Uh, it's been a while since I put anything on film, but I have managed to get down here uh, now. Got half a day, came down, thought I'd crack on with something. And I've been cracking on with the toilet privacy screen, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Now, I'll come a bit closer so you can hear me. I still, I know I've still got to sort out the, um, the microphone. I did buy one, but it didn't work. In fact, what I'll do, I'll show you around. We can talk as we go. Right, so there's going to be a bit of moving of the camera. As you can see, there's the old toilet there. There's a bit of a wonk on it at a minute. That's uh, not uncommon for when you're putting anything in the woodland because things move around a lot. But as you can see, I have been cracking on, sawing up this timber, this uh, reclaimed, reclaimed, this reused, recycled timber and putting in the walls and it's starting to take a bit of shape. Now, I went a bit on a... Had a bit of a sort of personal roller coaster ride on really whether I was doing the right thing with this or not. Um, because I'm going to show you some of this timber. Now, all of this was recycled from um, that's typically what I had from uh, free to collector sites because the whole point of this was that I was building it, it was going to cost me nothing to very little. So, some parts of it, reasonably good condition. Uh, there's some pieces down there that were pretty solid, pretty decent. Other parts, like the ones I've discarded over here, not so good. Uh, fairly rotten. You just try and hammer them in and they just fall to bits. Now, I got those ones off um, an older lady. I had uh, a few pictures of some tumble-down panel fencing on a free-to-collector site. And I went down there to have a look at it. And uh, to be honest, it was a bit rubbish, but... I thought I'd do my good deed for a day and I picked it all up and thought perhaps I could get something out of it. I'll be honest with you, most of the stuff that I got out of that load was uh, useless, but there are some small pieces in here and it's mixed in with uh, stuff I got from another place that was a bit better. But anyway, so one of the comments I had as well was about cutting. Remember I was bemoaning, I think, last time about cutting and it was splitting when I was cutting. That was a combination of using a handsaw and the fact that some of the, the timbers were uh, a little bit on the rotten side. So I had a suggestion off a old friend of mine, Scotty. He said, use the reciprocating saw. So I did bring it down this time. And um, I have to say, mate, that, that was better. Still not perfect. It still pulls it a bit, but it was better than using the handsaw. So that was a good suggestion. Thank you very much. So this is where we're at at the minute. Um, I'm leaving that gap in the top on both sides because I want air to flow through because this is a latrine after all, a toilet um, and I don't want it turning into a hot smelly box uh, in the, on the hot days. i still got to sort out some sort of roof. I did have a canopy on that but we're going to ditch that now. We've got some sort of solidity to it and we've got to put some sort of door on there. My missus has bought a, uh, a woodland shower curtain so we're going <laughs> to try that out. Uh, I didn't bring it with me today uh, and hopefully that will be okay. Now, problems I've had. I just move around here. See, I cover the toilet up when we're not using it. Problems I had is this upward strut here. Um, I did measure all these square I don't know if you can tell on the camera somewhere along the line whether the wind has blown out some in it's gone it's gone off true uh, and that does bug me a minute what I have to keep reminding myself about this is it is effectively a temporary structure uh, nothing is plugged into the ground it's not going to be perfect because it's made out of recycled wood it hasn't cost me anything I think the only things I've paid for were the original cheapy box of screws I bought on the way down here one time, which were cost me a pound from B&M. And then more recently, I want to paint this to try and get as much life out of those um, old timbers as I can. So I bought a big tub of Ron Seal. Now you may think, what, you bought a 25 quid tub of Ron Seal just to paint that rubbish? Well, no, the only reason I bought that is because we were down Asda um, those of you who don't know what Asda is, it's sort of like a British version of Walmart, part of the same family. But they were getting rid of all their summer stuff. And they had this massive teal, uh, a tin of um, Ron Seal forest green 
wood preserver for four pound. So basically I've spent four pound on that wood preserver, timber care, and I've got one pound invested in the screws which I used at the start. The rest of it has been free. So it's a five pound toilet. You got a five pound toilet, five pound toilet. But that's it so far. So that's where we're getting, a bit wonky. I think when I get the roof nailed in, because those timbers on the top are just balanced on at the minute, but when I get the roof nailed in, it might square it up true a bit, and hopefully it'll be a bit neater. But we'll leave that until next time. Anyway, woodland's looking a little bit different these days. We're getting into autumn now, so this is very late September. Still got leaves on the trees, but they're not gonna last much longer. Give it another month and they'll all be down and this floor will be covered. You can see it's starting to get a bit covered in fallen leaves, but that will be covered in a month. And we're getting around to the time of year now, uh, late September, early October. This is when I first purchased the woodland one year ago. So I've got one year of ownership in here. It's been a experience and um, yeah, I've learned a few things really. Some of which I will talk about in a different video, but basically to do with all the saplings I bought and put in. Anyway, less moaning about that. And more having a look at the toilet. <laughs> anyway, until next time. When I should have cracked on with this and it may be green. Oh, and I got to fill in that gap as well. Until next time. Cheers from Woodland Life.